What's up babes, it's Curly to Victoria. I'm back with another video. Give me one second because the TV is on. Okay, so what's up babes, it's Curly to Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys exactly what I have planned for the day, what I have, um, I've been doing. First things first, if you're new to the channel, Make sure you smash the subscribe button on here. You can expect to hear about luxury, fashion, fitness. I do hauls. I do vlog. We talk about literally everything under the sun on my channel. I do hair videos. I do weight updates. I do like an array of things, travels, vlogs, blogs, real estate, entrepreneurship. You name it. My channel is literally like a one-stop shop. So if you're looking to go to a place that's pretty much going to have everything that you're looking to hear a little bit of advice about, go ahead and check out my channel. Um... I am tidying up my channel so some videos that I have that I've had on my channel for a long time I will be deleting as you guys know I've had my channel for like six years um over the last like couple years I've been a little bit more consistent on my channel um but I have a lot of videos from the past that I deleted I have a lot of videos on my channel right now that needs to be deleted so I wanted to make this video um because I was literally just drinking my detox water I just got in like I would say like a five to ten minute workout because I wasn't trying to do the most today you guys know that I have been like working out. I've been doing my walks again. I've been literally doing stairs, all of that. So today I was going to do like a rest day and not really work out. But my that urge to like work out like I used to want to all the time is coming back, even though there's a lot of days where my energy seems to be lower. So I'm hoping that upping my water intake as well as working out more is gonna help me to revitalize that energy that I feel like has been lost. So I know you guys are like, girl, get to the point. What do we weigh in today? If you follow my channel, then you know I always give you weight updates, weight updates. So let me just do a backstory for my new people who just got to my channel and don't know really about the weight journey for me. So long story short, and I'm gonna try to make this like a one to two minute elevator speech. Okay, um, so basically about three years ago, I decided to go plant-based, then ended up transitioning to vegan. Long story short, I was getting sick off of dairy. I was getting sick off of meat. I was getting sick off of everything I ate every day. And it was that thing of, do you want to keep feeling sick every day or do you want to do something about this and not feel this way every day? So of course I did something about it and I stopped cold turkey like literally everything. So it is so hot. Um, I turned off the AC, I'm about to turn it back on, and I also turned off the um, washer and dryer so I can hear myself make this video. So um, long story short, I stopped doing all of that, and um, basically over a year, year and a half, I gained about 50 plus pounds, so I was a girl who weighed 120s, 130s, and I ended up weighing at the highest of 180. I had Never weighed in at 180 ever in my life but that was my highest weight so I decided that I needed to figure out what was going on with me and how I can fix the issue that was at hand so long story short I started you know doing all of the things that were positive that I would do drink water work out still wasn't noticing a change so I started to realize that maybe my carb intake and maybe even when eating healthy but drinking smoothies and stuff like that it was actually adding to my daily intake of food, which was allowing me to have a caloric surplus, which is eating more, um, which most people or people who eat in a caloric surplus, whether it's weight gain um, intentionally or unintentionally will gain weight. People who eat in a caloric deficit and portion control are going to more than likely lose weight. So I realized that, you know, even though I was eating healthy things, I still was literally in a caloric surplus. So I started really portion controlling, monitoring what I'm eating, Counter, counting calories and I know a lot of people say oh I don't count calories that's what I did that's what worked for me um, I drink apple cider vinegar I drink water I kept with my same habits and routines it's just I was on it heavier um, so I ended up losing 32 pounds I got down to 148 pounds I'm presently 150 what did I wake up at this morning 153.6 I was so heated because like I think I'm starting to put back on my muscle mass which is making the scale go up even when I have days where I haven't eaten much. So like today I had vegan tacos and that was pretty much it. And I had an um, orange for um, like kind of like a, I don't really want to call it a snack, but I just knew I needed a boost of vitamin C. So I had an orange earlier. I am going to drink a cup of um, airborne today just to make sure my immunity is at bay. Um, and I'm going to make a protein shake in a second. So I have my banana sitting out and I'm going to go ahead and make me a protein shake. 
I'm drinking detox water right now, but that is basically in a nutshell my um, weight gain, how I gained weight, and now I'm trying to get it back off. So my goal is to get back to the 120s, and then um, so I want to cut and focus on the shape of my body, and then I want to bulk up and make sure I have like you know my I want to be toned, I want to be solid. So I'm drinking my detox waters. They are so good. Um, I've already drank water for the day. I drank like, I think I drank like three bottles already. Yeah, I've drank three bottles of water already. Once I drink these plus those um, three bottles that I've already drank, was it three? I think I've already drank, I drank two. I'm trying to remember. I drank two because I set some water bottles aside so I can remember. But I drank two um, and I have... Basically, I drink 34 fluid ounces of water. Once I finish these two mason jars, this will be 64. So we'll be looking at about 98 fluid ounces, and then I have two more waters over there to crush, and I'll be a little bit over a gallon for the day. So it's I'm doing good on time. It's about five something in the afternoon, which means that if I tackle these two, we only got two bottles left for the evening. So, mm -mm -mm. And I'm trying to finish this one so I can go ahead and fill it back up um, and put it in the freezer so I can catch a chill. I don't know about y'all. I drink that hella fast. But detox water to me is so refreshing. It's so good. It's so hydrating. So good. So I had two small glasses of coffee today. Um, did I already put it up? I was gonna show y'all the glass, but anyway, I had a little glass, a little bit smaller than this. Um, well, of detox water. I mean, of coffee today. I had two glasses of it. And I think that was about 20 fluid ounces. So I probably drank about 30 to 40 fluid ounces of water today. I mean, of coffee today. My second go round of the coffee, I had more almond milk than coffee just because I didn't want to, you know, just have too much coffee for the day. Um, so now that I've gotten this, give me one second. Oh, I didn't have to go too far. So now I'm gonna put this one in the freezer and let this water, you know, take up that extra detox. Cause this is my first refill off of this concoction. And basically in here I have, let me tell you guys in case you're wondering, I have cucumbers, I have mint leaves, and I have um, lemon. And a lot of times during the day, I like to drink, um, where does this piece of string come from? A lot of times during the day too, I might drink like a hot ginger tea. So like, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to that in a little bit. I'm gonna have that, a ginger tea, and I'll put a dash of maple syrup, and I'll also use a lemon just to kind of give taste but I am going to like I told you guys I'm not going to add additional water but I'm going to go ahead and make it now so you guys can see what I'm I'm talking about for my airborne one second Okay, so I just grabbed a whiskey glass because it was something that was close by and I don't want to do too much of this, but I'm going to take one of my water bottles and I'm going to just pour some water. I don't want to pour too much. But anyway, I'm going to take an airborne capsule, a zesty orange. I already used up all the lime ones, so I'm just going to take one of these. got like two to three more capsules. I'm going to put it in here and it just fizzes. Kind of like those alka or whatever but it just fizzes so i'm gonna let that fizz and then i'm gonna drink that as well just for a quick little immunity boost um i'm gonna set this then i have my bananas which guys freeze your bananas like these don't look as good but i promise you when i put them in that smoothie they're gonna be so good so if you have bananas that are going older or anything like that peel them and put them in a container in the freezer and you'll thank me later because you'll preserve your bananas. You'll literally avoid fruit flies and you also um, probably
probably have a better tasting protein shake or smoothie because the bananas are closer. You know, they're, they're at a good stage to actually make a smoothie or a shake. So I'm going to start on this one. The good thing about detox waters as well, y'all, is detox waters really do bring down everything that's going in your body. So toxins, all of that. Like you guys see my chest is clearing up my face, my neck. You guys know I was having a breakout and just me detoxifying. Sometimes when you're detoxifying, it actually is going to make you look more broken out because you're getting those toxins out of your body. So if you guys can see, if you've been looking at my other videos, then you know definitely like, yeah, you could see some of the hyperpigmentation, which, you know, as I continue to moisturize and drink my water is going to disappear, but you can see the difference. Um, and like I said, I literally was just working out and I wanted to make this video. So we weighed in at 153.6 this morning, which was, you know, over, it was, it was doing too much. The scale was doing too much, but I just randomly got on the scale like this evening after drinking so much, I ate, um, and I was like 154.6. So that tells me from detoxing and my body reading waste, that more than likely I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and I'm gonna be like probably 152 or lower. I could be wrong, but if I'm weighing a pound heavier in the evening after I've drank so much, I've eaten, then the chances are I'm gonna weigh less because of the detox in the belly. Um, I do wanna go for a workout tomorrow, I do. Um, so we'll see what happens then. Um, but for the rest of the evening, it's five something. I'm going to continue to do laundry and things that I have to get done. And I'm going to drink my airborne. I'm going to make a protein shake. I'm going to drink more water. And then I'm going to have the ginger tea that I told you about. And then if I decide to eat anything at all, I may cut up a piece of fruit or something I don't know um I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do I feel like I need to drink this I'm starting to get full so I probably need to hurry up and drink this It's been about <clears throat> a month or two since I made, about a month since I made a glass of this, so I forgot how much I don't care for it. But anyway, get you some Airborne. They make them in, um, I'm not sponsored either. I'm just telling y'all what, be, what I've been using over the years. This really does a good boost for your immunity when you're not feeling all that well, or you just want to make sure everything's at bay. Um, Airborne does have vitamins too. They have gummy vitamins, which can become addictive because they taste like candy so freaking good especially if you get the chewables in the mixed like the the gummy ones and you got the mixed it's like three different um flavors so good and then um they also have they have a capsule to put in the drink and they also have i think chewables or a peel or something there's different options so i normally like to keep all three stashed i ran out of my gummies um my daily vitamin gummies and then i still have and these come in different flavors too but i hope you guys enjoyed that i'm gonna get on with my evening i don't want to continue talking i just wanted to update you guys on my weight if you have not already make sure you subscribe to my channel i will be doing a luxury giveaway um once we hit 500 subscribers so make sure you are commenting you're active and make sure that you are subscribed that's like the only requirements I'm not asking for your routing and account number, sis. I'm just asking for you to subscribe so you can have a chance at winning that giveaway. But also, just for a positive channel. Like, my channel is all about positive vibes and growth, development, and, you know, just literally the life of Carlisa Victoria. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Carlisa Victoria. And um, to see all my other pages that are associated with me, then make sure you just look in my bio and click which page is applicable to you boo um but let me go ahead and get on with my evening so i'll see y'all later thank you for tuning in 
um oh and hair as far as my hair i told you guys i was thinking about potentially um free forming which is basically going without doing my hair like retwist and stuff like that i was thinking about free forming up into my two year my two year anniversary will be july 1st 2021 so we are about to hit april so essentially that would be me april may not even you know only washing my hair oiling it but not retwisting it so i'll keep y'all up to date with what i do because a retwist might pop out i don't know but i know that i want to be working out stuff and stuff like that so I don't want to put in the work to do my hair only for me to sweat it out. Just saying. So I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Later.